this is a snippet from Monday's roundup when we were talking about what is what is it going to take to replace Big CC in the middle of the Baltimore Ravens defense. Yep, yep, yep. All right, second question. Unless we want to get into cornerback talk, but we all know we need cornerbacks. Let's get this second. Are we confident in who we have with the loss of Calais Campbell, or are we looking for another piece to fill that role or to fill that hole? I'm sorry, the middle of the defense. And that's, that's kind of – I talked about this dude yesterday, a guy we kind of forget about, um, Michael Pierce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I see your reaction, Hendo. <laughs> yeah, another one of Hendo's favorite, Travis Jones. Mm-hmm. Um, Justin Matter BK. Um, Roger Washington mm-hmm. and Brent Urban. Those are, I think, those are the five guys. And if I'm missing somebody, let me know. Oh, you put Brent Urban on that list. <laughs> <He's right. laughs> he had two good plays in ten years. Well, hate, well, hate. When it was Chase Young, you were all like, "I play more snaps than Chase Young," but you got nothing for Brent for Brent Urban. I, I, seen, Brent Urban play, I seen Brent Urban play more snaps. You made you, you you seen him make three plays, Coach? No, and no, you, no, and no, you, no, no, no. I see Brent Urban in the game. I see no, but, Chase Young with Redskins, uh, one of these hats on that say Redskins. All right, well, let's, <laughs> well, listen, well, let's, this is what we'll do, Coach. We'll put stats at least have a hat on. All right, well, let's put, let's put their stats up together with all the games Brent Urban has played. Let's, now, let's, oh, let's match about, stats. I'm talking about recently. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> recently. But anyway, you, y'all get the gifs. Do we, do we need to bring in somebody to help fill the role that Khalid Campbell left, or do we have enough guys to, to fill that role? I like that group. I like that group. I mean, I you know, Calais, Calais was my dog. That's big dog, you know. But I, I like that group. I mean, um, you know, I'm expecting. Obviously, I'm expecting a elite forward for Broderick. We listen. If y'all can rewind, right, and go back to one of the first roundup episodes, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but we gotta see something out of Matter BK. Right, <laughs> consistency out of him. We've seen flashes, of course, mm-hmm. man. The, the kid got he can play, but we need him to be that consistent piece that you know we expected Calais to be, a younger Calais to be. Right, if Matter BK can step up, you know Pierce can stay healthy. I mean, the way you broke down the film yesterday, Coach, I'm like, all right, yeah, I got excited again. Right, <laughs> so I'm like, all right, but we know Pierce can play. It's just a health thing with Pierce, and then you know. Travis Jones, that's my boy. You know, I know him though. I ain't really feeling the kid, but <laughs> I, I and, and then Broderick Washington. I think Chris, you you were high on him last year. You kind of brought him up as he started to play, you know, more and more. You like, yo, look out for this cat. So yeah, that's my nephew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, you know, I, I like the group. I like. I don't. I don't, I don't have a problem with this group. And I, I tell, I'll tell you how how that film came about yesterday. It wasn't playing. But, Jose, you remember me and we were talking off stream and you were telling me to put a video out there that wasn't kind of time centric. And we talked about putting like talking about gaps and just having somebody that that people can kind of go back and look. Mm -hmm. So yesterday was the day I was going to try to do that. So I went to just go get some steel shots of like some Ravens, you know, just some lineups so I could talk about different gaps. And he was um, Pierce was making plays. I'm like, man, I forgot about Pierce. And so it turned into that video that you saw yesterday. Yeah, no, Michael Pierce, man, like I, I've always liked Michael Pierce, right? His issue has been injuries, mm-hmm. staying on the field. When he's on the field, there's no problems with him. In fact, I remember uh, there was an argument to keep him over over uh, Brandon Williams mm-hmm. at the time, right? Because he, he was he was playing that well. And he played well when he was in Minnesota as well. Just again, just injuries. And, you know, that, that's kind of followed him up to now. But if he can stay healthy or at least somewhat healthy, he provides a lot of value, but no, it's, it's going to be a common theme along this, this whole defense is we got a bunch of young players that we invested in, right? Cause we had to, we had to use all 14 picks guys. <laughs> okay. We had, we had to use them. We couldn't trade up. We had to use every last one. Yes. It was a free agent. No, nah, I don't want to bring in any veterans. Why are we spending, why are we spending all these picks on, on guys? If we're not going to let them play, play right? Let them play. Um, and they've shown you some flashes. Uh, Travis Jones had a good rookie year, right? Matty BK, he's definitely showing you some flashes. But it's about consistency at this point. But it's sink or swim. They got to go out there and show it. I understand, like, we, we feel like we're close to a championship, so we don't want to take any risks. I get that part. Um, but look, man, like, this, this, is why, this is exactly why EC needs to be on the hot seat. Because 
you've been playing around with all these draft classes for so long and you still have a defense that you're not sure about. Yep. Let the guys play and, and either let them play. Like if, if, if let them play and if they don't play well, then you can hold your coaches to the high seat for not developing them. Yep. But if you, if, if you constantly bring in people in to take their reps, then you you can't say nothing to the coaches for not developing because they're not getting the reps. So then you're just mm-hmm. in, a, in a revolving door. Because mm-hmm. the coach would be like, well, I couldn't play him because you brought this veteran in that makes this much money. And you know if it makes much, much, that, much, much, that much more money, I got to play him. So now the coach got an excuse for not playing the younger guys because I can't develop it unless he gets some PT. Mm-hmm. So you got to do so, what you got to do. Yeah, I mean, I'm listen, I already think that we found a replacement for Calais Campbell, which is Michael Pierce. Somebody to come in, make some plays, and get her set out most of the year. <laughs> I I, we, we've, we've we've already got that. So 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 what do we need? But no, um, seriously, oh, forgive me. Um, I'm looking for them to lean on Travis Jones. There you go. Yeah. I'm looking for them to, yes. I'm, I'm I'm looking for him to take up uh, uh, finally a bigger, a bigger <laughs> role on his defense, especially when Michael Pierce goes down. I know I'm joking, kid, but it, it's just it happens every year. He has to prove to me he can actually stay healthy. Um, I know that Broderick Washington is going to be solid, and being that he probably is going to want a big contract, he's going to step up. And like you said, Mike, Justin Matabike, what is he going to do? He's in a contract year. I think he's playing for his future with the Ravens and maybe his future in the league. So he needs to be a little bit more consistent. But I do think – they should bring in somebody. I'm not saying it needs to be a grizzled veteran, but they need to be bringing somebody just for depth because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if somebody else is going to go down. We don't know what's going to happen with these younger guys playing more snaps. So, yeah, I just think we need to do something. We can't stand Pat. But Jose's right. We drafted a 1,000 people, and we only used 12. <laughs> <laughs> so as as far as that, that group, as we're really looking at, Matabike, Broderick Washington, Travis Jones, and Michael Pierce, really. Those four. And I agree with you. We need you need a at least a fifth guy to get in there and in case of injury. That and, and a guy that's gonna go in there that could play just so you won't be no drop off. Mm-hmm. And I, we all I think we all agree that Urban is a drop off. <laughs> <laughs> a slight one. He's a, he's a jump off. <laughs> We also didn't mention um, we, we we didn't mention uh, Project Pat too. We got him. Oh, that might be his in, role, just in case. I mean, <laughs> you don't need a fullback. Would, that's where he started. Might as well. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> he started at deep tackle. So where hey, where would you rather him play, Coach? You rather you, would you rather have him uh, on the interior line, or would you rather have him running nine routes? Can I can I pick C? <laughs> <laughs> off off, off the team. team. <laughs> uh, that's D. <laughs> I got you, got you. C's over there with John holding the well, holding the cord. Remember back in the day, the coach used to have to walk behind the head coach <laughs> and roll the wire up. That's yeah. what Project Pat need to be. <laughs> but I, I do, I really think the role for for Pat Ricard on this team is, is short yardage situation. Yeah. And 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 I I agree with you, rotating at that D line if need be. I, I he can rotate that D line. And we would get in the goal line situations or fourth and one situations. I wouldn't mind Ricard getting carries on fourth and one. I I don't care. I, I, that, he can be a traditional fullback. Yeah. Just don't have him running nine routes. Don't have him in the flats. Okay, you, you, use one of your your tight ends as a as an H back. I'm gonna need a video coach of what Pat Ricard blocking because I can I can distinctly recall last season several games, especially I think it was the Cleveland game. We had some fourth and one short yarder situations, and this dude was just missing blocks. Like he doesn't block as well as everybody says he does. Yeah, I, 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 it's some, but it's some good ones out there too. Like you, I don't, I know one person in particular that probably is scared to death of him, and that's probably that's Judon. Mm. Judon's probably scared to death of him. Mm. He, he molly whopped Judon a couple of times that game. Now I'm sure there are games out there, games where he would miss some too, but. It's tip for tab, and I ain't finna go watch no no what's wrong. <laughs> I don't want that. I want that time back in my life. I'm finna go find no <laughs> get that. We just have to take each other's word. We have to agree to do this. <laughs> All right. Anybody else want to want to talk about the, the defensive tackle position? Are we good on that? I, I, I throw in one real quick. I just I, I'm always with you know just loading it up. You know, like the Eagles do. 
You know, the, yeah. the Eagles, they just bring in dudes, you know, mercenaries basically at this point. Like yeah, yeah. those, you know, older dudes that they don't need much practice time. They, they bring them in. But, you know, dudes that when the lights are on, they know that can ball unless it's in the Super Bowl. And it's well, Sue, like was ice. Sue with them? Wow. <laughs> yes. Sue was with them? Sue, yes. they had Limbaugh Joseph, I think. Um, mm. shit, they might have had Reggie White. I don't know. They signed everybody. <laughs> <laughs> And the, I think Sue came in when somebody got hurt. Am I? Uh, am I Sue, they Jordan signed Davis. Sue when Jordan, Jordan Davis got hurt. Mm-hmm. They brought so, a Sue and somebody else. So if, if somebody gets hurt, would y'all be cool with Sue coming in? Yeah. 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 Sure. Okay. Gotcha. And if I'm not mistaken, Sue's in the, in somebody's booth right now. Sue's doing TV, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's possible. I don't look. I don't mind Sue either from a net look. Sue got a nastiness to him that yeah that I like. Then you know that don't hurt on any type of defense. You know what I mean? You you can welcome that. So that means he's not gonna be on the team because John Harbaugh don't like that. 